Okay, so in these questions, we're not actually given a graph at all. We're just going to think about how the coordinates change. And actually, the best way to do this is just to look at some examples, and then you can have a go over here. So it says the graph with curve C with equation Y equals F of X is transformed to give curve S with equations below. Find where the point on C with coordinates 4, 6 is mapped to. So we're going to say the original coordinate is 4, 6, and we're going to think where does it get mapped to in all of these different scenarios that we've got here. Well, this one, we know the plus two means it's just going to move up two spaces. And I think we talked about this with kind of like the X, Y coordinates. We would just say that the Y coordinate has just two added to it, which means instead of four, six, it's going to become four, eight. This one, we said that we're having X plus two that actually takes the X coordinate and you subtract two from it. And the Y coordinate stays the same. So four, six is going to become two and six. The f of minus x, well, we said that if you have the general coordinate x, y, you just negate the x1 and you keep the y1 the same. So instead of 4, 6, it will be minus 4, 6. Minus f of x, well, you just take the y coordinate and that one becomes negative. So instead of 4, 6, it will be 4 minus 6. Now this one's got a combination of two different things. Clearly, the y coordinate is just going to have a 3 added to it. But the minus 1 to the x does the opposite. It means you just add the 1 to it. So you're going to take the x coordinate, which is 4, and make it become a 5, and the y coordinate, which is 6, and it's going to become 9. So this is kind of like a translation. It's moving 1 across and 3 up, hence the 4, 6 moving to 5, 9. Now, this one is kind of like a double reflection. It's a reflection in the x-axis and in the y-axis. So if it was previously x, y, it's now going to be minus x, minus y. There's that kind of double reflection. So the 4, 6 is going to become minus 4, minus 6. Now, this one, I think, could maybe do with a little bit of rewriting. I would personally probably write this as minus f of x plus 2. So that means that the y-coordinate is going to be negated, and we're going to add 2 to it. So I'm going to have 4, x is going to stay the same, I'm going to negate the y1, so it's going to become minus 6, and I'm going to add 2 to it, so it becomes minus 4. And this last one that we've got here, it looks like nothing is going to change, oh, actually something is going to change about the x coordinate, it's going to negate, but the y coordinate is going to have an extra half added to it. So if we negate the x coordinate, we get minus 4, and we could just add an extra half to the y coordinate. You could either write 6.5 or 6.5, or as an improper fraction, it doesn't really matter. So I want you to have a quick go at thinking what would happen with all of these transformations if the original coordinate was minus 2, 3. So instead of doing it with 4, 6, you're going to try it with minus 2, 3. Pause the video and have a go, and then I'm just going to write down the answers as well. OK, so if it was x minus 3, that means you're adding 3 to the x coordinate. So it's going to instead of be minus 2, it will be 1, adding 3 to it. This one is just saying you take the function and you make it move four spaces downwards. So the y, um, the y coordinate is just going to decrease by 4. So the x will stay the same, and the y is going to go from minus 3, sorry, from 3 down to minus 1. When it's uh, minus f of x, the x stays the same, but the y becomes negative because of that flipping that we've got there. So it is going to remain as an x as minus 2, but y is going to go to minus 3. f of minus x just changes the x to a minus version. So the x is just going to go from minus 2, and the y is going to stay as 3. This one is kind of like a double movement that you've got here. The y is going to increase by 2, but the x is going to do the opposite. It is going to decrease by 2, so it's going to be x minus 2 and y plus 2, meaning the x coordinate is going to go down to minus 4, and the y coordinate is going to go up to 5. This one, again, I think is probably good to rewrite, so it's minus f of x plus 4. So the x coordinate is going to stay the same, but you're going to negate the y coordinate and then add 4 to it. So the x coordinate is going to stay the same. I'm going to negate the y, so instead of 3, it will become minus 3. And when I add 4 to minus 3, I get 1. This one is our kind of double reflection that we've got here. So you're just going to negate the x and you negate the y. You negate the x because of this bit and you negate the y because of that bit. So instead of minus 2, it will become 2. And instead of 3, it will be minus 3. And then this last one that we've got here, this time the x coordinate is going to add on a half. And the y coordinate is going to add on 3. Remember, it's adding on a half because it does the opposite. So when I add on a half to minus 2, I get minus 1.5. And when I add on 3 to 3, I get 6. 
Um, so that's everything with coordinate transformations. You really have to know what these transformations here mean. And this is just sort of doing it in the abstract. But if you're a bit confused about those parts, it's kind of an application of some of these bits that I was doing earlier on in this playlist. OK, in the next video, we're going to be thinking about describing our own transformations in two different ways with function notation and then in an algebraic way. Found this video helpful, then why not drop it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you'd like the next video in the playlist, you can click here to be taken straight to it. And as always, wishing you the very best for all your studies.